Today I will show you how to change and make your own skins in Cydefall 21. Okay, so here's how the default theme looks in Cydefall 21. To instantly change it, you wanna go to options, go to theme settings, and here you have the default collection of skins in Cydefall, and by clicking one, you simply switch it. Now, if you wanna get some more skins like these ones, what you wanna do is go to your files right here, go to this icon, and then you go to the theme section right here. You have a few collections you can download, and these are for free, and they instantly install in Cydefall. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to create one from scratch, or how you can edit existing ones. Okay, I'm gonna go to the default preset once again, and first things first, I'm gonna change the hue right here. And that really changes the tint of the theme. Most of the times I have it on the default one, which you can choose by hitting reset. Then we go to the saturation. And this determines how vibrant our theme is gonna look. For example, if I increase it, it can look more alive. But if I decrease it, it gets to the gray tones and it gets really dark, really edgy. And this is where I usually go to make my skins. Now, obviously for the brightness, that's pretty self-explanatory. This is the one you need if you want to create those white themes in FL. But if you lower it, you can make this dark aesthetic. Now, by increasing the contrast, as you can see, I make it harder to see my lines in the playlist and they are easier to see while I decrease it. But since I wanna go for a darker theme, I'm gonna increase the contrast and that will give it a darker aesthetic. Now, by increasing the text knob, as you can see right here, it's gonna make my text brighter. But if I decrease it, it's gonna be harder to read and for that reason, I always increase it. Okay, so now let's go to the colors of the theme. This right here is your basic color and we can pretty much go with anything. I'm gonna go to the purple one for this video. Hit accept. As you can see, every time something is selected, it has this purple color right now. I'm also gonna go to the highlights and set the same color as well. Now, as you can tell, most of the buttons right here are on the purple color. Now I'm also gonna change the color of the mute button. I will go with the purple once again. Here, as you can see, our mute buttons are purple. I will set the option button on the purple as well. And now we go to the steps and this is what you see on the channel rack. So the odd one is gonna be on the purple and for the even, I'm actually gonna go with purple as well, but I'm gonna switch it just a bit so we can see the difference. And here's how the channel rack looks right now. Now, these are the meters of the mixer. Now, obviously you can do anything you like. Personally, I'm gonna start with purple. When I wanna change the color of a spot, I simply click it and I choose the color. I'm gonna do the same right here. Now, somewhere around here, I'm gonna change the color just a bit. I'm gonna pick a smoother purple. Here is where the 0 dB hits, so I'm gonna go with the same color as well. But to show the picking color, I'm gonna go with red or something. Then we go to the text, that's pretty self-explanatory. It's how you want the text to be shown. So I'm gonna go with purple. And here's how the color seem. Obviously, I don't really like it, so I'm gonna set it on a smoother one. Now there's more things we can do. For example, we can switch the note colors. You can go to the piano roll and go right here and by right clicking, we can switch the colors of the notes. I'm gonna go with the purple. And now the notes have that color. And once again, I'm gonna go to my options, theme settings, and right here, I'm gonna enable the audio and automation clips use note colors. And since I set my notes to be purple, that way the automation clips are also gonna be purple. Now to save the preset, I simply click right here and I'm gonna give it a name. And now it's available right here. So every time I wanna switch to it, I just simply click it. And if I want to delete it, I simply click right here. So that was the tutorial on how to change and make your own skins inside FL21. If you found it useful, make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.